Jerry, uh, you collect these old green John Deere tractors, and now we're with a 1941G. Uh, tell us the difference, you know, between this technology and the one we just looked at. Well, the, the one you just looked at is electric start. You just turn the key and hit the button. This one is hand start, where you turn the flywheel, turn the gas on, turn the flywheel, so it's uh, manpower. So on a cold morning, a cold winter morning, it'd be tough starting, wouldn't it? Cold winter morning gets stiff with that 30 weight oil in there to turn one over. You want to make sure you got a little heater around to kind of warm it up first. It's a 1941. Uh, I bought it basically like this. Uh, I bought it off a fella here in Warren. It's, it hasn't went very far. And, uh, I've had to put a new head on it and stuff, but uh, other than that, why, uh, it's pretty much stock. This is the way it comes from the factory. This is It's got the round spoke wheels on it and it's got the same size tire that it come with from the factory, uh, front and rear, and so uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much stock, just like it. This 1941 G, and in 1941, I mean, it was the main tractor. Now, would it pull a two-bottom plow all day long? Yes, it'll pull a three. It's, it's designed for a three-bottom. Now, I've plowed with it before, and this is not an easy ride. It's what they call making a man out of you. <laughs> Sit on that seat back there. Man, it's not smooth, I'll tell you. Well, again, with all the technology we have today, back in 1941, it's amazing what those guys put together. It's amazing what they put together and what they went through. I mean, I can't. I just plowed one afternoon with this, and that's it. that was enough for me. <laughs> no power steering. No power steering. It is rough, let me tell you. Dave, uh, when you told me you had a Super M, we had to come down and look at this. I've logged more personal time on a Super M, just like this tractor, than I have in any kind of airplane. And uh, this particular tractor is special to you, too. Well, it really is. Uh, I wasn't very old. Uh, well, in fact, I wasn't born yet, but my dad bought a... Uh, new Super M in 1952 and uh, I come along in 53 but uh, he always liked that tractor and, and always wanted a, a Super M and when I told him I was looking for one he said well that's fine but it's got to be in 1952 <laughs> so we had to find the right year as well yeah. and we were real happy to uh, be able to, to come up with this tractor in fact it's somewhat local uh, around the Landis area it belonged to Dale Culbertson yes, uh -huh. and we we're real pleased to be able to have uh, purchased that at his uh, farm sale. If you're interested in tractors, I mean, anybody can be a part of this club. And, and you live in Marion, yet you're very involved in the Warren Tractor Club here. Well, that's true. That's why our, our title of our club is not very catchy, but it's Warren Area uh -huh. Antique Tractor Club. And uh, uh, I've been friends with Dave Bradford for years. We're buddies, and we've done tractor pulling and all kinds of stuff together. He's uh, involved in this club and that's kind of what drawn me to it and uh, it's just a great time where we can get all different flavors everybody's got a different model or or brand that they like and we can all come together now there's a lot of ribbon going on but especially between red and green but uh, we have fun with it and it's just a great time to uh, join together with uh, this is a part of of history in this area is our tractors and uh, the farming community and we just love being a part of the club well, and you know what? All this old stuff, it's all great, but it's really the people, isn't it? It really is. That is exactly right. You meet a lot of good, good friends and uh, familiar faces every time we have a show.